Although the last few weeks have felt like summer, today actually marks the first day of the season. With many taking to the water to cool down, the Minnesota DNR is seeing an increase in boating accidents. Chris Burns talked with the DNR about some precautions boaters can take before hitting the water. With every passing summer day, more and more people head out to enjoy boating on the water. With early summer temperatures, people took to the water in greater numbers. The Minnesota Department of Natural Resources reports a lot of accidents that are taking people's lives. We've seen an unfortunate trend of increased boating fatalities and drownings along with that. Um, so it's getting out that safety message, uh, making sure that as people are heading out to the water, seeing that we still have you know a lot of summer left to make sure that they're making safety a priority and including it, you know, as you pack up for the beach or the boat, make sure you're packing up your life jackets, you know, add, add, add safety measures into that checklist for the day. Life jackets by law are to be worn by any child 10 or younger, but the DNR says they should really be worn by everyone. It could really be the difference between life and death. There's 90% of boating fatalities in Minnesota include a victim who's not wearing a life jacket. And, you know, with that, we could have 10 lives saved each year if people start putting their life jackets on every time they're in the water. Besides life jackets, boaters trying to enjoy one of the lakes inside the state of 10,000 lakes should make sure their boat is equipped with everything it needs if tragedy does strike. You know, making sure when you go out each time on the water that your navigation lights are working, that you have um, a functioning fire, um, fire extinguisher, and then boats that are 16 feet and greater should have a throwable um, flotation device. Another worry the DNR has is alcoholic beverages being consumed by the driver of the boat. You know, drinking while boating carries the same penalties as if you're drinking and driving a car. Um, so make sure that you're designating a sober ride on the water and on the road. And, you know, either leave the alcohol on shore or make sure that you have a designated driver on the road and on the boat. The DNR also encourages everyone to check the forecast before going boating. Reporting in Brainerd for Lakeland News, I'm Chris Burns. The DNR says everyone should take at least one boating safety course and children 12 or 13 have to take it before they can drive a boat unless they have an adult who is there to supervise. Lakeland News is member supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.